If you're in the Midwest or Northeast, you've probably been sweating a lot this week. That's because we're under a heat dome. It's broken temperature records and raised concerns about what the rest of the summer is going to feel like. But what is a heat dome? How dangerous is it? And is this going to be forever? ASP explains. A heat dome happens when a high pressure area forms in the upper atmosphere, trapping hot air like putting a lid over a boiling pot. The pressure pushes air down, building heat at the surface level and preventing cooler weather patterns from moving through. You might have heard parents or grandparents say, it didn't used to be like this when I was a kid. That's because in the U.S., extreme heat events like this happen three times as often as they did in the 1960s. A 2022 study in the journal Copernicus found that climate change is making heat domes 150 times more likely. Climate meteorology experts say climate change is also making heat domes more more intense as because climate change warms the Arctic. That warming slows the Arctic jet stream that brings cool air and helps keep air moving to prevent heat domes from forming. Heat-related deaths are up 117% from 1999. And in that period, there have been more than 21,000 heat-related deaths including 2,300 deaths in the year 2023 alone. The most severe health effect from extreme heat is heat stroke, which can happen when the body's internal temperature reaches 104 degrees. It can cause confusion, loss of consciousness, seizures, and permanent disability or death if it's not treated immediately. To avoid heat stroke, experts recommend things you probably already know. Drink lots of water, wear sunscreen, stay in the shade when possible, Maybe take a cold shower when you get back inside and avoid eating high protein foods as because high protein foods can increase the body's internal heat production. For most of the country, forecasts predict this summer is going to be hotter than usual. That heat dome currently affecting the Midwest and the Northeast should begin to end today. As the dome weakens, thunderstorms that were kept at bay by the high pressure will begin to move in, bringing with them high gusts of wind, lightning, downpours, hail, and possibly tornadoes.